Hi, I'm Joanna Golub, Nutrition Editor at Runner's World Magazine, and here's another Quick Bite. Pick up almost any packaged food in the supermarket, and chances are it'll have at least a few labels on it, touting the product as either all-natural, or reduced fat, or cholesterol-free. Today, I'll explain the meaning behind these labels and whether or not it guarantees the product is a healthy choice. One label you'll commonly see on packaged foods is all natural. So what does that really mean? Well, according to the USDA, a product can be called all natural if it's minimally processed and contains no artificial colors or ingredients. But it can still be high in fat, sodium, and salt. So just because it's all natural doesn't mean it's healthy. Another label you'll often see is reduced fat. Many runners buy reduced fat products because they think it'll help them keep their calories in check. But in reality, it can often be a bit of a wash. That's because in order to make reduced fat products like salad dressing and peanut butter taste good, manufacturers have to add sugar to them, which can put the calories in reduced fat products practically on par with the regular full fat versions. In most cases, you're better off just buying the full fat version and simply using less of it. Another confusing term is light. This term can actually have multiple meanings. Sometimes it means the product is lower in fat or lower in calories than a similar product. But it can also mean that it's just lighter in color, as in light olive oil. And light olive oil has just as much fat and calories as darker varieties. And lastly, another term that often confuses people is cholesterol free. A food can be labeled cholesterol free as long as it has fewer than two milligrams of cholesterol per serving. You'll often see this label on foods like bread and candy, but unless those foods contain either eggs or milk, they probably never had any cholesterol to start with. That's because cholesterol only comes from animal products. So while technically this label is accurate, it can be a bit misleading. So next time you're grocery shopping, keep these terms in mind so you'll know what you're really buying.